Hello and a very warm welcome to this Bitwig tutorial. In this episode I talk about pattern reload or something that you can call maybe like undo unlimited or instant undo. Um, it is about um, technique where you can change a lot of parameters of device or more devices and come instantly back um, to your original sound or more from one sound to the other. But you know, let's get started. So I prepared a little tune here with a standard polysynth and it sounds like that. And so on and so forth. So and um, maybe uh, sometimes you want to change the sound but you have already dialed in some uh, a sound that you don't want to lose, you can save it as a preset or, or whatever. But there's a very clever way to do that. We discussed that in a, in a forum and uh, there were some solutions and I want to present you now the solutions um, we found. So one really um, great suggestion was uh, to put in here a macro and just to uh, um, open it fully and then to just uh, activate the modulation um, arrow. And now while it's playing, you can change everything on this device. So now you have changed a lot of things, a lot of parameters on your um, on your device, and um, you can always go back. You see it on on the markings here. You can always go back to your original sound like this. Okay, so. This is um, very simple and you can put here, for example, a phaser and a reverb back there. And um, if you want to change the, the parameters on, on those effect devices, you normally um, have to put them in the FX channel so you can reach them via this uh, modulator wheel. Whoops. Normally you can reach that via your ah I didn't put it I didn't put the reverb in there, sorry. And now you can modulate it like that. So this is one way. So but there's another way where you can um go back and forth and, and you can combine this with the other way. Let me try to put that outside the container because you can just use a simple chain device and chain everything in here. So the devices are still separate from each other or from the polysynth and you can put the macro device, you don't need it anymore here. You can put it over here like that. And from the chain device, because everything is in that chain, you reach every knob that is in any way reachable or every setting that is reachable and so on. So you can change the knobs right now from here. But um, you can do another thing. Um, you can um, take an instrument selector, maybe just do it like that. It's in the instrument, the selector, and then you put in the chain over here and maybe poly synth or maybe control R original like that. 
So you have everything inside here and now you can just right click and duplicate or just control D duplicates again. Would be nice if this would be numbered like this, for example, or original one or right. Original one and the next is original two, for example, or uh, without original, it's up to you. So you always have the original sound over here. And now you can go to this polysynth duplicate and use the um, the macro knob to just change everything. Wait, I want to put everything here down and now. Okay, now um, I have from the same effect from the beginning, like can change morph uh, from original to destination sound. Like that. And what I can do, I can just, I, I just leave it over there and just switch to the original. like that. So, and if you don't like what you did here, you can just um, delete that again and create a new duplicate with uh, control D, for example, and start working on your new sound, maybe three or something. Um, and to make something new or just yeah, just start over. This is really nice a thing uh, in, a, in a live performance or just when you um, searching for sounds and you're not um, and, and you know this, this is the sound where you start off, but you don't know where to go. Just do uh, create a duplicate, um, work on the duplicate. And at the end, you can just use this duplicate and for example, deactivate the other tools or delete them or whatever you want to do with them. So this is a great way of uh, coming always back instantly um, from where you were or just more from different sounds uh, you created or where you, where you were starting on, where you um, heading to. Okay, and um, I hope you liked that. And if you liked it, um, I ask you kindly for that. because um, commenting, um, subscribing and liking this helps the channel. And um, this com uh, came from a, um, from a forum where people were, were discussing and talking. And this is always very helpful if somebody is asking a question in the forum, in the comments or whatever, and people start telling them, yeah, there's a simple solution for that. And uh, sometimes um, our thinking is far too complicated, so we uh, don't see the, <laughs> the most easiest ways of doing things. And this is always great if you start talking about that and um, comment in, in, in comments or in forums or wherever you are, so people can see and uh, discuss and yeah. And that's, that's a way how such tutorials um, will come to life. <laughs> so, okay, so I hope you liked it. And if yes, you know what uh, you have to do. And then I hope I see you healthy again and soon again. And yeah, see you soon. Ciao, ciao.